Okay, y'all. I have this shaving powder. One of the viewers suggested it. See, here is my facial hair. I haven't shaved in about three days. I just mix some of the powder in here. And I'm going to experiment and try this and see if it works. Like, a lot of y'all know that I was getting that trellises done. And I haven't had that in about a year now. It's just not economical for me right now. And I've been shaving and nearing, and you can see the bumps on my face are from that. So it's like, I really don't know what to do anymore. So I said, let me just try this out. Because it's supposed to eliminate the razor bumps. From the reviews I've seen, from people describing it, trying to put a lot on there because my hair is very very coarse especially with the raisin with the razor from shaving it is really coarse and so I got the regular strength that's all I saw I got it from my local Dollar General actually I was gonna get it from Amazon but Amazon was talking about five dollars and Dollar General had the exact same thing For one dollar it was one dollar at Dollar General I'm hoping y'all can see this. I'm doing this from my phone So But apparently you're supposed to mix this up the instructions are pretty clear on the box well on the jar whatever they can just mix it up put it on your face leave it on for five to seven minutes i'll probably leave mine on for seven since i have coarse hair but shoot i'm putting it on and i can already feel it working like it kind of feels like nair because nair has this sensation to it like a not a well almost a burning sensation and this has that too and it stinks. It smells like Nair too. Cause Nair does not smell good at all. I was gonna do it in the morning before I went to work, but I didn't want this smell to be on my face. So I was like, let me just get this out the way with and make a video. Cause a lot have been asking for updates on my um, facial hair. As you can see, there's not an update. I still have a lot of facial hair. I stopped I stopped taking spironolactone. It didn't work for me. And my uh, endocrinologist, she had upped the dosage. I think I was at 75 or it may have been 100, but it didn't work. So there they go. So honestly, I don't know what to do. I'm not going to do electrolysis for a while. That was kind of painful and it's pricey. And with electrolysis, you have to do it consistently for at least a year. For my case, because I have a ton of hair, you have to do it consistently at least a year, maybe two. And I just knew that wasn't going to be feasible for me. Maybe in the future, I'll try it, but... Again, where I know I can be consistent with it, but for now, no. So I'm just doing things in the in-between time to rid myself of facial hair. Now, I did find that for my condition, the most beneficial thing that I've done um, was the waxing. Ooh, this stuff stinks. Uh, I waxed, well, I went and had my face waxed. And that kept the hair gone for a solid two weeks. I did get a few bumps from the waxing, but it's not as bad as the bumps I get from the shaving. And the nair, I didn't, the nair gave me discoloration. So the waxing to me was the best solution. 
I just don't have time to go all the time. And I have to be consistent with that. But I could be so smooth. Like after the wax, it would be so smooth. I wouldn't have any, any hair left on my face. And it would stay gone. It would literally not grow back until day... Day 13, day, like between day 12 and 13. And that was the longest I've done it for. Now, this is my first time using this stuff. Um, I was so excited when a viewer had told me about it. Oh, and I can't think of her name. But she had mentioned this on one of my um, videos to try. It is painless. Um, it just stinks. But other than that, it's fine. I'm going to see if this hair comes off and I'll try to take it off on camera. Okay, so I'm going to start timing it now. So I hope it works so I don't have to worry about uh, shaving anymore. And the little bumps, like the little hair bumps that come when I shave too hard. So we shall see if it works. But while I'm waiting, I just wanted to go over... Uh, what I already kind of told you in regards to my facial hair. I don't have a solution yet. Hopefully, I'll get one soon. Hopefully, this will be a good method for the in-between time. Because if this doesn't work, I'll probably just start waxing again. Because I had the most longevity with that. And waxing, it hurt a little bit. But when I was consistent with it, my thing is consistency. I'm not consistent. But when I was consistent with the waxing, um, I didn't have no issues. Ooh, this stuff stinks. It smells like, uh, you know, if you have bad water, like, you know, that sewer water. Like, say if you're, uh, if your sink has that egg smell to it, like a rotten smell, that's what this smells like. I'm so happy I did it tonight because I do not want to go to work with that smell on me. But yeah, ooh, it's strong. So I don't think I made it thick enough though because all the videos that I saw, it was really thick and this looks really, really thin. I can still feel the moistness of it. It's still wet. So, I will come back when I take it off. Hopefully, you can see the hair real good. And I will show y'all how it does. I'm going to try to do it with a paper towel, a white paper towel, so you can see the black hair follicles on the paper towel to see how much actually came off. But I can actually feel it working, though. So that's a good thing. So I will be back when I take it off in about five minutes. Okay, y'all, it's been about almost 10 minutes. Got my white paper towel. It's starting to flake off a little bit. So I said, let me just go ahead and try to take it off. I may have to get it wet. I don't think it worked, y'all. I don't see much hair. Let me see. A little bit came off. Can you see? Yeah, right there. I don't think I did it right. I don't think I made it thick enough. Some of it is foundation and some of it is hair. So, see, I still got a lot of hair left. Maybe I needed a thicker, oh, this is shedding everywhere. I don't know. I'll try it again. So look. 
So like it does work. I don't know if that's focused enough. But Nair, in my opinion, from my first use, this is my first time trying this. Nair works a little bit better. My sweatshirt is all white now. So, you can see the hair that's coming off. It had a little itching sensation. I don't know if I needed to leave it all longer. Can you see? Hmm. It was only a dollar. I'll try it again. I'm gonna watch some more videos. I wish more females would do videos on it. Only see males. Only I haven't seen too many females. From the reviews, they said it's supposed to keep the hair off the face. See, it's working a little bit. It's supposed to keep the hair off the face for three days. I'm about to go on vacation. And I don't want to have to go pack a razor because I got to go through the airport. So, I wanted to do this. But, it's not a loss. I, got, oh, I just got to get that smell off of it. But a lot of the hair did come off. I ain't gonna stunt. A lot of hair did come off. But I just have a lot of hair. So. I'm gonna finish wiping this off. And then once I have a clear face. I'll show you guys what it looked like. I should have took a picture before and after. But you see all this hair is still there. And it feels still hairy, yeah. So this side got smoother, it got small, you know, I can feel less hair on this side. So let me finish wiping up my face and then I will show y'all what it look like. Okay, so here's a clear look. So I can still feel the hair, but you can see it right here. This is one of my major problem areas right there. And right over here. Under here, it did pretty decent. I'm still bumped up from when I shaved the last time. But, oh well. But I think I'm going to do it again. I'm going to watch some more videos, see how they did it. Because I saw men with a ton of facial hair, like thick hair. Or maybe their face is trained for it. But it got it completely off. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I should have watched the video all the way through instead of fast forwarding it through. Oh well. This is my review. My initial review. On the shaving powder. I'm not going to give up on that. I think once I learn how to use it, it'll be fine. So... And for those that have been asking about my facial hair, like I said earlier, I'm still at a loss. I don't know what to do. So, and when I do figure it out, I'll be sure to let y'all know first. 